gas pressure is going to be a, a key requirement on any water heater's operation. It's very commonly the first thing that tech support is going to ask for. Um, the gas valve venturi system, I removed it from the water heater. I want to point out uh, how are we going to measure gas pressure, the tools that we're going to use. Your gas inlet, uh, so the factory connection uh, that extends outside the water heater cabinet here. Uh, but we have two little towers, what I call towers. The one closest, where the finger's pointing there, closest to your gas inlet, is where your manometer is going to connect to measure your static pressure, so that's before the water heater comes on, and your dynamic pressure. So with a flat blade screwdriver here, we're going to slightly open this valve. It's a little needle valve. Just open it enough so that gas pressure can flow. Manometer tubing is going to then go right over top of that tower, and you're going to get a static pressure reading. When you turn on your gas valve, you're going to see the manometer pressure increase. Ideally, it should increase. And we're looking for a range between four and a half inches of inlet pressure up to 14 inches of pressure. When the water heater is then turned on, we have running pressure. When the fire is in operation, we call it dynamic pressure. You want to see very little pressure drop when we go from static to dynamic. So pressure drop in a negative regulated system can create some, some ignition problems for you. So static pressure, dynamic pressure, as easy as connecting to that single port on the gas valve.